I'm going to show you how to create the photo cutout animation in Adobe Photoshop. Once you're in Photoshop, make a new project, type in 1080 by 1920 for width and height and press create. Now place all your images in this project. So here I'm going to drag in my files. Next, press command or control T and resize the images so that they fit inside this canvas. Make sure the image you want to resize is at the top so that you can actually see it. How this is going to work is we're going to start with one photo, introduce an element of the second photo, and then introduce the entire second photo. Sort your photo layers by the order you want them to appear in the video. So let's say this is our first photo, hide the other layers, introduce this photo, introduce this photo, introduce this photo, this, and then this. So here, because we're going to introduce an element of this first photo, we're going to make two copies of it. This first copy is going to have an element. So let's say the balloons here. And then the second photo is just going to be the second photo. So here we're going to just cut out some of the balloons here. You can use the pen tool or you can use quick selection. Anything works. If you're using the object selection tool, make sure to hold shift if you're adding multiple objects. Now go to the bottom right here and create a new mask. So after you press the mask button, you'll only see the objects you selected. So in the video, it'll look like this. Now repeat the process with the other images. So press command or control J to duplicate. For this image, I'm going to use the pen tool instead, and I'm going to select everything but the sky. We're going to right click and press make selection and then press the mask button. And now you can see we have something like this. I'm going to speed this portion up and do it for the rest of the photos. So now that we've done this for every single image, we're going to stitch together these photos so that we can export it as a video. Go to window timeline and here press create video timeline. Instead of having the timeline like this, we want to press this bottom left button right here. It should look like three squares. And the reason we're doing it like this is because you can set the duration of the photo much easier this way. So go ahead and hide every single layer except the one that you want to start with. Right now you can see there's a preview with this photo that we currently have. And that's our first photo in the sequence. Now press the add button so that we have two versions of this and unhide this layer. So now if you click on the previews, the first image has just this image. The second image has the balloons. And then we're going to duplicate this again, unhide this layer. And so now you can see we have three different frames. And right now they're set at five seconds each. We can easily change this by just pressing on it and selecting a better time. Now with this selected, press the plus button again, unhide this layer, then press plus again, unhide this layer, press plus again, unhide this layer. So keep doing this until you finish. So you'll know if you did it correctly, if you go through these previews and it looks fine. If we press play right here, it'll play the sequence out in real time. So you can see nothing is happening. And the reason why is because we have a five second photo duration. And so as I mentioned before, the way to change this is to select on the time here. So instead of doing it one by one, we can click on the first image and hold shift and click on the last image and it'll select everything in between the first and the last image. And now we can select the time here. So let's just do 0 0.5 seconds. So you can see this is a bit faster and then you can adjust this to a custom time if you want. And now that we're done, press file, export and render video. Select where you want to upload it. Everything here should be fine and then press render. And then I'm going to show you the final result. So right here we have the video. We're going to press play and you can see it looks really nice. That's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check the link in the description as well as pinned comment for over 60% off the entire Adobe Creative Cloud Suite if you're a student or teacher. Also make sure to check out this playlist right here and subscribe for more videos just like this.